Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwoosh.com, and I thought I would do a QQQ update here. It's almost 4 o'clock. It's into the close, and I wanted to see the market here into the close today. I've uh, been calling it bullish for since the dawn of time, and it does appear to be holding up that way. We rested all day today. Had a rally, had a rally, got up over the number, got up over 91, pushed up here. It looks like the high of the day was 91.22. And we rested yesterday, and we pretty much rested today. The range of the day was like a snail, uh, literally, like less than 50 cents here. But to be honest with you, it's bullish. This is bullish. This is bullish and bullish and more bullish. So we could have broken out higher today. We're not going to do it here. It's two minutes till the close. But tomorrow... Tomorrow, tomorrow, there's always tomorrow. It's only a day away. It's less than that now because the market opens at 9.30. And actually, Ramush was asking me about holding overnight. It looks like a good idea here. It looks like it's perfectly fine. Market's either going to gap neutral or up or slightly right like near the close here tomorrow. It looks like a bullish day in the market tomorrow. For all intents and purposes, that's how I'm calling it. We'll see where we gap. I have no idea. If we gap down tomorrow, I have a different read on this. But as of now, as of this moment, as of 3.58 and 38 seconds into the close here on March 5th, the market is looking unbelievably bullish like it's going to break out higher. And it could do that tomorrow, okay, because it's taking a nap. And if you really want to look at, I mean, I can see all this from the daily chart. But the 15-minute really gives you a good, good picture here about how the range of this market for the last two days is trading so tightly. Here, let's squish it together. See that? It's definitely not weak. It is intensely strong. It's like if you would take a slinky. It's You know, remember you used to play with the slinkies? You would squish that slinky together really tight, and then you'd let it down the stairs, and it would go and go and go. You'd have to squish the slinky tight. You'd squish it down, and then boom, then it would go down the stairs by itself. That's what the market's doing. It's like a slinky right now. It's squishing itself together like a slinky, and it's about ready to go boom, except for the slinky's going to go up the stairs instead of down the stairs. <laughs> That's how you look at it. It's tight, 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 condensed, concise, squishy trading action that's ready to break higher. Just ready to do it. Whenever, you know, whenever they feel like doing it. It could be tomorrow, it could be the next day, but it's looking like it's going to be soon. I mean, there is a chance we could actually trade like this one more day tomorrow in a tight, 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 tight range. I don't know what date is out tomorrow. I'll have to look at it when I get up tomorrow morning. But I think most likely is we rally tomorrow and just do it tomorrow. But we could trade for another rest day tomorrow. Either way, it's strong. Strong as can be. If we gap down tomorrow morning, I'll have a different read on this, but low odds. It happens. Looks like it's going to play out very strong and tight and a nice rally here. Potential for the market to make a big lift to the next number, which was 91.88 and then 92 and 92.25 in the QQQs. Those are the next long targets for the Qs. Very nice bullish move here. Very tight, condensed trading. Easy read. Easy read here for this market. Bullish trend is your friend and is continuing onward. Thanks, everybody. Have a great afternoon. See you tomorrow morning. If you would like more information on the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.